Garrett didn't mention that I'm also a, a heart transplant recipient. <laughs> and, and before tonight, I thought, you know, dying seven times was a big deal, but it's nothing in comparison to what you guys have done. Anyway, um, Paul Tarasaki, who uh, this award is named after, um, 53 years ago, uh, came up with compatibility testing between donors and recipients and really revolutionized, you know, modern um, kidney transplantation. And this um, editorial um, is, is about something that's a little, uh, you've, you've heard eplet matching sort of thrown around tonight um, many times. And um, the, the eplet matching program in NKR has taken on this name of uh, Kidney for Life. And that program um, is, is an even better way of matching donors and recipients using DNA rather than tissue antigens. And that's what that's about. And it provides a much better match and longer um, longevity of the kidney and the possibility of being able to reduce immunosuppression. The Kidney for Life initiative was made possible by one of the um, important contributions that the winner of this year's award has made, which along with Garrett was the concept of vouchers and uncoupling donors and recipients so that we could give the recipient the best possible match. Because it used to be that, that donors and recipients, um, their success in paired donation was dependent on each other. And it, it didn't always result in the best match for the recipient. When this um, editorial was written, though it was referring to the um, concept of tolerance, so being able to receive a transplant along with a bone marrow transplant, a kidney transplant with a bone marrow transplant so that you could be withdrawn from immunosuppression. And that remains sort of the holy grail of modern transplantation. And of course, Garrett is on the front edge of that and you'll hear about that next year. But the recipient of this year's award um, has just completed one of these types of tolerance um, transplants successfully. The winner of this year's award, the Paul Tarasaki Innovation Award, is Jeff Veal. And Jeff is, um, for sure, the, one of the OGs of, uh, of pair donation. <clears throat> All right, thank you. Um, yeah, so I think there's like a, a gratitude paradox. We transplant patients and they're so grateful to get a, to get a kidney transplant. I mean they've been on dialysis, they're going to on, on a machine almost every other day and then they give them a kidney transplant and they're so grateful of it. But then we put them on these immunosuppression drugs and they end up getting complications. I mean when many of us have squamous cell cancers that they have, they hack up all these whatever. There's like all kinds of complications that happen with these immunosuppression drugs. And I really feel the next thing we need to do is try to get them off these drugs. And I was lucky enough, um, thanks to Stanford Pioneering, uh, we were able to get uh, a few patients that we did simultaneously where they got basically, it's a stem cell transplant and a kidney transplant simultaneously. But we took one patient, he got a kidney from his brother almost a year and a half ago, and we brought his brother back and we asked him to fly in from Virginia and we took his CD34 cells, which is uh, the hematopoietic progenitor stem cells. 
and that's their stem cells that then we transplanted into the recipient and we got beautiful engraftment. And so I'm proud to say that our recipient who received a, a kidney a year and a half ago and then we got the stem cells from the same donor is almost off all of his immunosuppression drugs. He's only on tacrolimnus, <laughs> one milligram. Um, and well, he's got great chimerism. And so I encourage you, if you have well-matched uh, kind of sibling pairs to try this or um, get them off their, their medications because these immunosuppression drugs have been about the same for 40 years. And it's about time we kind of try to get them off their immunosuppression drugs. Um, that's the kind of the technical part of my talk. Uh, I'm grateful of this award. Uh, I want to thank Garrett, by the way, and Jan for hosting this thing. Uh, because we haven't had this party for about four years. I think the last one was in 2019. And so um, thank you for giving us an excuse uh, to party one more time. <laughs> COVID, I think, is over. Um, and then um, I also want to thank, by the way, Matt Cavanaugh. Uh, I want to dedicate my award to you, man. You are a warrior. Uh, I do 40 minutes on the stair climber every morning. <laughs> And so I feel you. And I, unless I misunderstood it, I thought a marathon was 26 miles. He's doing 155 miles, unless I misunderstood that. Uh, whoever got Matt Cavanaugh's kidney, that's a warrior kidney. <laughs> that person is, is peeing ropes of urine. <laughs> ropes of that urine, man. Uh, so I want to dedicate my award to Matt Cavanaugh. And um, uh, honestly, guys, try to get your patients off the immunosuppression drugs. I think that's the next frontier for uh, transplantation. Uh, thank you for this night. Thank you for the award. Peace. So just to clarify what Dr. Veal did, he, w he performed the first procedure in the history of the world where he was able to do a stem cell transplant one year after the kidney transplant and get that patient off immunosuppressive medications. There's been many simultaneous procedures, but when you can do a retro procedure or a delayed tolerance procedure, it opens it up to many, many more patients. There are about 10,000 uh, transplant recipients in the United States who have a six antigen match sibling kidney which is what Dr. Veal did. And if he can perfect this procedure, those 10,000 patients can utilize this procedure to get off immunosupp immunosuppressive medications. So thanks, Jeff. The next award. <clears throat>